What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video, and today I've got episode 17 of Road to 99 for you guys. In this first game, Randy and I went up against an Elite 2 play sharp and an Elite 3 pure post scorer. As you can see, Randy's gonna get a nice cut. I'm gonna pass to him, he's gonna dunk it down. Right here, he's gonna pull the 3, he does miss. I somehow get this board over this 7 foot 3 pure post scorer. Don't know how I got it, I wasn't even in position either, but anyway, I'm gonna set a screen for Randy, we're gonna run a nice pick and pop. And I do miss because this was before I put my new jump shot on. So right here, I was using base 11. I wasn't that good with it at the time. So I'm missing some shots here and there, but I'm not going to miss easy post hop shots like that one. So we got a 6-0 to zero lead. And since this guy's taller than me, I just decided to take a post hop shot. He jumps early and doesn't get a contest because of that. So we're up 8-0. to zero. Right now I'm going back in the post because he can't seem to guard me in the post. I'm going to hit another post hop shot. Right here, Randy's going to give me the ball again. Another post hop shot. He doesn't know how to guard it. I'm going to green that one, and I'm going to get takeover. So at this point, Randy and I both have takeover. I just wanted to end it, so I'm just going to shove him out of the way, dunk on him, and we're going to win 21-0. to So in this second game, there weren't really highlights, so I'm just going to show the game winning three. But in this third game, we went up against a rebounding rim protector and a pure stretch four. So it was kind of hard to get shots off. As you can see, this guy heavily contested the shot. Don't know how I made it on a rim protector, but anyway, the stretch isn't guarding Randy. He's going to get a nice cut into a nice dunk, and this game was actually much easier than I thought. This stretch was just left riding the whole time. The rim protector wasn't really clamping me up, but anyway, he's going to get a turnover here. I'm going to take the shot on him. Don't know how I went in, but I'll definitely take it. In this fourth game, we went up against a play sharp and a post-scoring rebounder, which is an okay build because it's basically a glass cleaner who has some sort of offense, because this year, I feel like glass cleaners are the worst they've ever been. They're really good because they have the height advantage, they can get boards, but they're so bad at offense and creating shots. As you can see, Randy's going to get blocked. This play sharp's going to try to take it into the paint, but Randy's going to clamp him up. He's going to bring it back out to the three-point line, try to use this screen and get Randy stuck. He's going to pull for three. He actually bricks. I'm going to pass to Randy. He shoots the three. He doesn't green it, and he bricks it. So this game started off really bad. Everybody was missing their shots. I already have two rebounds, but finally they decide to make a shot. We're down 3-0 to zero at this point. This play sharp's going to move around this screen, and he's going to miss another shot. I don't know how everyone was missing so many shots so early on into the game. But anyway, Randy's going to take a wide open mid-range and drain it. So right here, we're down 3-2. to two. I set a screen for Randy so that I can activate my silver pick and popper badge. I'm going to take a mid-range, and I'm going to knock it down. And we did end up turning the ball over once again, and I don't know what this guy's doing. He's a post-scoring rebounder, taking a contested mid-range fadeaway. Don't know what that was, but right here, I'm going to dunk on him, and we take the lead. So Randy's going to dribble in between this guy's legs, almost lose the ball. He does get the turnover, but then the other team turns it over. This game was just a mess. I'm going to get both of them jumping. Randy's going to shoot a three. He is cold, so he does miss. I'm going to give it back to him. He fake passes and gets a nice drive for an easy dunk. Right here, we turned the ball over again, and they gave it right back to us. I don't know how we turned it over. This was just a really bad game for both teams. As you can see, I tried to pass to Randy, but this guy does tip the ball. So back on offense, once again, another turnover, a foul. This game was a complete mess. This guy's going to take a contested shot. He's going to miss, and this guy fouls. I think this game ended up taking seven or eight minutes, something like that. As you can see, I'm going to hit the mid-range with a bad release. Randy's out here pump faking in the corner. This guy steps back, so he's going to pull the three, and we do end up winning the game so in this fifth game we have the same guys from the third game but there weren't that many highlights i just passed to randy he dropped 22 and i had six assists so in this sixth game we went up against a two-way shot creator and a playmaking sharpshooter which is kind of a weird build because they can't really dribble anyway since they have sharpshooter primary but anyway right here we're up four to zero i'm gonna take a mid-range and green it somehow that was open and not lightly contested don't know how right here i'm gonna do a post hop shot but randy gets the perfect cut i'm gonna pass to him and he ended up getting his takeover. So I decided to give the ball to him. Easy three-pointer. He's going to green it. We're up 17-0. And I gave the ball back to him to let him cook. This guy's not even guarding him. He's going to green another three. They did end up scoring once. But it's not going to matter because we win 22-2. So in game number seven, we're going up against a lockdown and a post scorer with pretty trash records. So we were feeling good about this game. Don't know why this guy wasn't guarding Randy. He's going to hit a wide open corner three. I'm going to drive past both of them, get a dunk to fall. I don't know what that animation was. But anyway, once again, this guy's leaving Randy open. He is going to miss. I get the rebound and I end up getting the and one. I don't know how I made that. It was heavily contested. But anyway, Randy's going to get a nice cut here, dunk it down. And I almost have takeover at this point. I really wanted to get it. So I'm going to get an assist to randy he's gonna green the three we're up 15 to zero and i got takeover and randy gets takeover as well these guys don't know what to do on defense the guy in the brown is supposed to be guarding randy he's not really doing it 
So, Randy's in green the three. We're going to win 22 to 0. And in game number eight, we're going up against a post scoring rebounder. And this slashing defender comes back. So, he basically just came back with another random. And his defense is pretty trash. But Randy is going to miss the three anyway. I'm going to get a pump fake, get this guy to jump, and get an easy dunk. So, next play, this guy ends up reaching. So, I'm going to take a dunk right on him. Kind of surprised that I made it. But this guy's defense is pretty bad anyway. Right here, I'm going to get double teamed, give it to Randy. I want you guys to watch the guy in the mask. He's just spamming triangle right here. Don't know why. But Randy's gonna drive and get a dunk on this guy in the blue mohawk right here They're leaving Randy wide open flashy pass behind the back. He's gonna hit the three once again These guys can't play defense. They're double teaming me. I'm gonna do another flashy pass behind the back Randy's gonna hit another three and we just wanted to end them off at this point This guy's reaching so I'm just gonna take an easy dunk and we end up winning 21 to 2 So in game number nine, we actually have the same exact people from game number one and this game was actually pretty easy right here randy's in a fake in between both of them get a nice layup to fall right here randy's in a bounce pass to me i pump fake this guy's kind of clamping me up but randy does get a nice cut so at this point we're up nine to zero i tried setting randy's screen here it was kind of a bad screen but it's okay because right here we're barely gonna get the ball back randy almost runs out of bounds i'm gonna get a nice dunk we're up 11 to 2 they did end up scoring once but this guy's gonna take a horrible shot don't know why he took it. His shooting is very low, but I'm going to get a nice dunk. Right here, Randy tries to drive past this guy. He gets clamped up a little bit, but I'm going to get an open mid-range. Kind of a bad release, but I still get it to fall. And to end the game, Randy's in a drive. He's going to pass out to me. They're double teaming me, so I'm going to do a behind the back pass to him. He fakes his guy out, takes a nice layup, and we end up winning 22 to 4. So in game number 10, we're going up against a pure athletic finisher and a playmaking shot creator. And a playmaking shot creator is actually a pretty good build, especially for twos, but it doesn't matter. He's going to leave Randy open. He's going to shoot the three. He's going to make it. And like I said, playmaking shot creator is actually a pretty good build for twos, but in order to use the build, effectively you got to play defense and right here this guy's not playing defense randy's gonna green the three we're up eight to zero he actually does hit another three to get us to 11 to zero and he's gonna hit another three to get us up 14 to zero right here we're up 18 to zero and this guy left me open on the three but since i did have my takeover you know i may as well use it randy's gonna take a layup kind of contested but he does get it to fall and these guys actually did end up scoring two points don't know what type of shot this guy's taking but anyway he's leaving randy wide open he greens the three and we do win 23 to 2. in game number 11 we got my guy will he's pulling up with a random don't know why he would do that but hey, I'll take it. I'll definitely take a free win because this random could not guard me. Right here, I decided to drive past him, get Will to help a little bit so Randy gets open enough for a three. Right here, we're up 9-0. to zero. Randy's open once again. He does miss the three. I'm going to put it right back up, green the layup. We're up 14-0 to zero right here. I'm going to go into the post but get Randy open on the top of the key. He's going to green the three. We're up 17-0. to zero. He actually got his takeover. He gets Will wiggling. He shoots the three. He drains it. We're up 20 to zero, and I'm going to give Randy the ball once again. He's going to pull a deep three, and he does miss, but I'm going to get the easy board, give it back to him. He's going to green the deep three, and we win 23 to zero. So in game number 12, we went up against a glass cleaner and a playmaking shot creator. One of these guys was actually good. The other guy was bad. As you can see, easy turnover. I'm going to get a reverse dunk. Don't know how I made it, but I'll definitely take it. Randy's going to drive in, pass out to me for the mid range. I'm going to drain it. We're up two to nine at this point. I'm going to drive right past this guy, slam it on him, heavily contested dunk. Right here, Randy's going to drive. He's going to pass out to me. I'm going to green the mid-range. These guys were just double teaming all game. Their defense was horrible. This guy's in a pull of mid-range. Bad shot. Randy's wide open for three. He's going to green it. We're up 16 to 6. Once again, Randy's going to drive. Get me open on the three. I'm going to drive. And then this guy is just spamming triangle. So I'm going to slam it down on him. 16 to 8. I want you guys to look at this play right here. I'm going to do a post hop. Get him jumping. Nice up and under. Easy layup. We're up 6-20 to 20 at this point. Randy's going to drive, take the easy dunk, and we win 22-6. to 6. And in this last game, I was actually playing with my guy Jaden. We were going up against a post scorer and a pure stretch. So to start the game off, I wanted to test this guy's defense. I'm going to take a post hop shot, green it. And from the jump, I knew he was bad at defense. As you guys can see, we're up 11-0 after this nice dunk. And this guy can't even guard Jaden on a backdoor cut. How are you going to let a stretch backdoor cut like that? Don't know what these guys were thinking, but they couldn't guard me. They couldn't guard Jaden. As you can see, Jaden does have takeover. I tried to give it to him. It hits off this guy's back. Jaden's going to pull a deep three. He is going to miss, but I do get the rebound, and I'm going to put it right back up. I'm going to get my takeover. We're up 15 to 0. Jaden's going to pull a contested three. Once again, I'm going to get the board. I don't know how this pure post scorer can't get boards over me. But anyway, I'm just going to shove him out of the way, take the easy layup. We're up 17 to 0. And I think they just gave up at this point. As you can see, Jaden is wide open for three. He's going to make it. We're up 20 to 0. 
And I'm gonna drive in right here, try to break this guy's ankles, but he really isn't in front of me, so I realized I couldn't break his ankles. So I'm just gonna drive right by as he reaches. Then I'm gonna pass out to Jaden because they do end up double teaming. He's gonna green the three, and that's gonna be the game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I'm gonna start making a lot longer videos like these. Normally my videos are around five, six, seven minutes. But I hope you guys do like longer videos. Let me know down in the comments below whether you like longer videos or shorter videos around five minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.